Let's talk about one of the key features of Safeguard. This is called Discovery. Discovery enables you that you can automatically look for assets and accounts in your environments without the need to configure them all manually or import uh, CSV files or other mechanisms you can use. Of course, you can then link this to some kind of uh, group memberships or other stuff and uh, more or less this will work pretty much automatically. And you can run all these discovery schedules that you can define on a scheduled base so that you may want to have it run every night or whatever so that your configuration of safeguard gets automatically updated without manual intervention anymore. That's a very nice feature and it's pretty easy to configure this. So let's have a look on this. Log in with your administrative user and click on the uh, application uh, toolbar and click on discovery. Depending on the language you're using this interface, you're going to find the entry appropriate sorted in the left pane. So what you see now here is the so-called dashboard and you have a couple of things in the upper area of that. So you can have asset discovery and you can have account discovery. So there are two independent types of discovery schedules or runs you can define or searches you can define. So the first one is asset discovery and asset discovery is very easy to, con to configure. So just click on the plus sign and give it a name. And now you have to decide if you have a discovery ba based on a directory or if you want to have some kind of network scan. And the directory button is only visible if you have configured a directory first. So if without a directory, you will, you will be able to define network scans only. So we could maybe just simply go for the network scan, click on next, click uh, see, specify the target address you want to have, to have and the ending IP address, and then click on next. Just define some kind of rule. Very easy, find all if you want, add the condition, find all is every there. Now you can have a preview if you want, but you don't need to. So just click on the add condition, find all, click on OK, click on OK. And that's all you need to have a full network scan and find as many things as possible. You then can advance to next and click on the schedule. So where you do define to run it maybe every whatever, every day at a special time, 4 a.m. Looks pretty good. And click on next. You see the summary. Click at discovery. And your discovery run then will be shown here in that list. And if you want to try this out, you simply can click on that, select this little triangle to run, and it will then go and look into your network to see if it can find a couple of assets over there. And it tries to detect what's operating system is on this if you have check marked this little box in the first place. Now we are talking about something that is built in into the safeguard product about automation. Automation as usual, makes things much more easier, so you don't have to do it manually. And one of the things we're going to talk about now is about account discovery or asset discovery, which, which use the same mechanism built into Safeguard. So if you open up your client, you're going to see uh, something like discovery. The discovery may be titled different concerning the language you're using in your client. So maybe for German, like me, it is Suche. So it's a pretty much pretty different, and it's in a total different position of the menu because it's sorted alphabetically. Just to confuse the users, whatever. So if you go to discovery, you're going to have a couple of things you can select from. One of the things you have is about asset discovery. And the other one we here have is about account discovery. Account discovery is pretty much similar, but as the name, the name tells you, it is just looking for the accounts, for the managed accounts, the privileged accounts in Safeguard. So again, you can have an account run on your uh, directory service and you can have uh, account discovery on whatever assets. And of course, you can combine all these things that you have maybe a scan on the network for assets. And if you identify an asset, you can instruct Safeguard to look into that asset to go for a local account discovery on that asset. So that makes it pretty easy to define this and makes it pretty easy to keep in sync with all the things that are happening in your environment. So for instance, if you maybe have an account discovery target to some kind of uh, directory service that consists of something that is a group, 
that you can do, then you can have an automatic sync in that group, whatever you want, so that once you have group membership, every change is then automatically replicated to your def definitions in your entitlements or your access request policies and so on and so on. So that's it all for. So let's talk about assets and safeguard. Assets are one of the fundamental blocks you have to configure to complete the configuration to set up your security policy and make the whole thing work. So to generate assets you could use automatic mechanisms like discovery but you can of course configure them manually or you can configure them via reading in some kind of CSV file. We will just show you how to configure them manually. So in the first place, log in with your administrative user, click on your administrative tools on click and, and click on assets. And you may or may not have a couple of assets already defined. If you have already defined some kind of directory, for instance, that maybe show up here already. But if you start from, from scratch, you will have no assets anymore. So in this case, we just click, simply click on the plus to create a new asset. It is just some kind of name. And the descriptions, I'll leave this open. And you can select the partition that, that is the container or the logical container that it may belong to. Uh, we're going to talk on partitions later. If you don't have a partition created already, you simply have the default partition that's always present. So that's called macrocosm. So just leave it here. You can change this later if you want. Click on next. And now select the product you want to manage, or the asset needs to has to be a certain product type. So just select the type of that asset. And if you click on the this little selection box, you're gonna see a long list of all the possible assets type your current safeguard version supports. Everything that's listed here is the amount of types that are supported by safeguard and you can select whatever you want here. So maybe you just want to have some kind of Linux system or some kind of Cisco router or Active Directory or Unix system, whatever you want. It's a very long list. So maybe that's for, in this case, let's select other. Other is some pretty much unspecified. And depending on the selections you did, there are a couple of options here in the, config, in the following configuration windows you have to fill in with the appropriate values. So maybe just give it an IP address and click on next. And then you can link some kind of account discovery definition to it. For this special type of asset, it's not supported, but for the other one, it may be. So in this case, you could define some kind of asset discovery that has been defined before, or you can assign it later, whatever you want. And then you have to specify the connections. For this type of asset, it's pretty, pretty low. It's just some dummy asset, but if you select a different one, then you may have to enter some kind of password, an SSH key, or other credential information to log in to that asset to establish a connection. 